So apparently Photoshop is inside ChatGPT now. I mean, this is crazy. So many things are inside ChatGPT. You've got Canva, other image generators. Now Photoshop, that Adobe Photoshop, that beast, that monster of a design platform is actually inside ChatGPT. Well, let me just show you if that is true and let's check it out. But guys, my name is AJ. I do all things AI, designing, digital products, selling on Etsy, image generation, all that great stuff. If you're interested in any of that, remember I've got over 900 tutorial videos on my channel. So do check them out. And if you do love that kind of thing, please hit like, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you can get more of my videos in your feed. Now let's just do this. Look, on the side here, what you need to do is go to explore, right? That's the first thing. Go to explore. And this is where you can explore all the, if you like, um, all the different sort of uh, GPTs in the sort of the other platforms that are connected to chat GPT. Okay. So just for example, you can see just underneath here, there's Canva there. Expedia's there, <laughs> Scholar AI, Video AI. Anyway, just let me type in Photoshop. Photoshop. See if it comes up. Okay, so it's sort of spinning, and oh my God, it actually is. No way. Let me click that. Wow, that's mad. Your virtual pho Photoshop guru. That is Photoshop. That's the logo. Gee, I didn't know that. All right, can I actually connect and design through it? Or do I need to have, I guess, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, what do I do? Where do I go with this? Let me go to start chat. Can I do a start chat? Okay, so let's go to settings, apps and connectors. And you can see that Photoshop's, all the Photoshop's have come into the Adobe, well, Adobe Acrobat, Acrobat, Adobe Express, Adobe Photoshop. Click that. And then what you do is click connect. And then connect again. Okay. Right, well, that looks like it's connected. Yep. Okay, so... Okay, so let's get back on to, this is, I'm in the latest chat GPT model, by the way, 5.2. I'm gonna go to the plus, go to more, and then go to the Photoshop icon. I'll click that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an image. Uh, I'm gonna choose this one, click an, an image, and I'm gonna say, I want to edit the image. Uh, okay, so I want to, what do I want to do? Let's see what I want to do. I want to make it brighter. Brighter and warmer. Let's see if I can do that. <laughs> that is crazy. No way it's brought in those uh, tools. So these are Adobe Photoshop tools, which is brought in so this is open in Photoshop, right? So what I'm doing right now, I'm increasing the exposure. These are tools basically, guys, that are available from Photoshop, right? That is brought in to ChatGPT. That is mad. Doing a few corrections here. A few balances let me just go to the next one white balance probably temperate oh, no, i need to increase the temperature if anything now a bit too much that's about right let's go to the next uh vibrancy yeah, a bit more vibrant mm, possibly a little bit more less yep brightness and contrast a bit too bright in it it's a bit more realistic let's see contrast 
It's actually <laughs> that's crazy, guys. That is crazy. Photoshop is actually in ChatGPT. That is madness. Let me just get rid of that. So it's giving me a few options that I've just tried in. Now, what else do I want to do? Let's just do a bit of, uh, look at that. It's got so many things. Look, it's giving me tips as well, what I can also do. What else can I do? Um, let me just crop it a little bit. Can I crop the image? Wait, no, no. Can I add a filter? Can I add a filter? Let's see what it says. This is madness. I wonder if it's going to give me a Photoshop filter to put on the image. It's proper thinking about it, though, isn't it? God. Oh yeah, look, so look, I've got those kind of grain effects. Let me see. I've applied a soft warm lifestyle filter using bloom or grain. Uh let me see. How to fine tune it. You can fine tune it filter instead in the Instagram style warm. Let me just go and see this grainy one, how it looks. Yeah, they've got a real grain effect. Let me see the size of the grains, big making it really grainy can you see it really grainy strong that's very grainy but look guys i mean just to show you these are <laughs> filters and effects used by photoshop and it's inside chat gpt it's crazy so you can edit your images now inside chat gpt god there's no end to this what, what's what, all these chat gpt connections it's a mad so yeah, do check it out. Remember, you can just edit it for free in ChatGPT as I have, right? This is just literally um, doing it for free inside ChatGPT, right? Well, I do have a ChatGPT subscription anyway, um, but I think you can even connect it for free. I'm not 100%. Anyway, guys, do check this out. It's crazy, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.